What's up, Cal Gay? All right, we got a nice physics problem on our hands. It wants us to know, how far does the physics professor need to be from the building before he drop an egg in order for it to land on his head, all right? Nice problem, all right? I like the, I like the creativity. I give it a 10 out of 10 on creativity. So, what do we need to know for this? Um, so, in order for us to tell how far our physics professor away, be, needs to be away from the building, because we know this is a velocity, we need to know how many seconds it's gonna take for the egg to fall onto his head. All right, that's the first step we need to get. So let's find out how long it's gonna to take to do that. Okay, so let's first of all think about this. Are we waiting for it to fall on his head or for his feet, all right? So we know that the building is 46 meters tall, but we also know that he is 1.8 meters tall. So to find the distance from the top of the building to his head, we need to subtract uh, this number from this number. Sorry, 46 minus 1.8 is equal to, if I get this wrong, it's embarrassing, 44.2 meters, right? Yes, okay. So that's how far the egg's gotta fall. So now we need to find out how long it takes for an egg to fall, fall that long. I'm pretty sure error resistance is negligible in this problem. So we're trying to get to this, all right? So let's use our kinetics equation for distance. So we know that the, we already know that what our distance is, right? We wanna know that our distance is 44.2. That's what x is equal to, right? And what is that equal to? Well, let's say it's one half. Um, so it's acceleration, it's gonna be gravity, right? So negative 9.8, or should I do negative minus? Let's think about this. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. No, we don't want negative. T squared plus the velocity, initial velocity is zero, plus the initial position is zero. Okay, actually, I did this a little backwards. Let me do it the other way. So this would work, but let's do it the other way. Let's say we want our position to end up at zero, right? We want to end up at zero. So say this is uh, so this is forty four point two, and this is zero at the top of his head. So our position is zero, is equal to one half acceleration, which is negative nine point eight gravity, t squared. Initial velocity zero, plus our initial position is 44.2 meters. Okay, both of those would give you the same thing. Different paths of thinking. I like this way more because it, your, uh, your uh, initial position is actually correct and gravity is also actually the correct value. Okay, so let's find out what t is equal to. All right, so to do this, we're gonna wanna first, you know, simplify negative 4.9 t squared is equal to or plus 44.2. We're gonna subtract or add this to both sides, so 44.9 t squared is equal to 44.2. Divide by 4.9 on both sides, and you're gonna get t squared is equal to. Oh shoot, I don't actually have this problem pre solved. 9.02, all right, and then if we take the square root of both sides, t is going to be equal to positive or negative. Uh, trust me, it's not going to be negative, because time is not negative. But if you're taking the square root of both sides, you can usually do the positive or negative. So let's take the square root of this number. Um, if I can find it on my calculator here. It's equal to 3, basically. Uh, yeah, that's basically just rounds to 3. 3 seconds. Let's do that. Alright. Now... Oh my god. I'm gonna... I should have solved this earlier. That's my bad, guys. I did solve this earlier, but I didn't write down the numbers for these calculations. Okay, now that we know how far the egg takes to fall, it takes three seconds for it to fall from the top to his head. So, let's just say how far, you know, let's just back it up three, three, uh, Okay, so how long is it gonna take him? It's gonna take him three seconds, basically. So we need to know how far he walks in three seconds in order to know, um, how far back he needs to be when we drop the egg. So, let's do our next kinematic equation. Uh, this is kind of a mess of a video, guys. I'm sorry. But, uh, you know, hopefully you can learn still a little bit. So, x of t for the professor, prof here, uh, one half acceleration, zero. Don't worry about that. Plus velocity, so 1.2 t plus initial position. Uh, which is uh, a thing we want to know, don't we? Um, let's say his initial position is zero, right? Wait, what do we want to know here? Yeah, I guess we 
if you want to know what his initial position is, zero. Okay, so then, if we plug in x of three, is equal to 1.2 times three, which is equal to 3.6. That's how far he walks in those three seconds, basically. That means that we want to start within 3.6 meters away from the wall, uh, from the building, you know? Think about this. The A is going to take three seconds to fall. That's three seconds. The professor, if he is uh, 3.6 meters away from the wall, it's going to take him three seconds to get to the wall. So he'll touch the wall at the same time the egg touches his head. And yeah, that's just a little bit of a, me trying to salvage this video. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's all right. Got the right answer at least. So yeah. Um, Hope you guys learned a little bit. This was not my best video, but watch my other calculus videos, watch my other physics videos. You can learn a little bit from those. And uh, yeah, so stick around. I'll see you guys next time.